Hey friends, today I thought I would bring you along as I created a beaded candy cane ornament for my uh, partner for one of my Christmas swaps. So I created these for my Halloween swaps that I did and I had so much fun. Enjoyed using up some of those beads I've been hoarding and making something out of them. Um, so I thought I'd bring you along. So I've got a lot of stuff that I've pulled out. I'm not going to be using it all, but I wanted to make sure I had a lot of stuff in front of me that I could pull from. So first off, you are going to need some sort of wire. Um, you could use, I guess, a pipe cleaner too. I wrapped the pipe cleaner around one of mine, but I use the base as my wire. Um, so I've got this uh, 20 gauge silver wire and... Um, this is a 20 gauge uh, magenta colored wire. Um, so you need some sort of wire or something to put your beads on. I've got my uh, wire tools here that I absolutely love. Um, if I have any of this, like my tools and stuff, I will link them down below for you. Most of these items uh, tool wise came from Amazon. So I have some tools, round nose and flat uh, plier and then I have a bunch of different beads um, so I believe these red and gold and green and silver came from Hobby Lobby and then these are just from my stash from different random things and these were from I think the Happy Crafter Shop and these I think were like a freebie she um, gave out. So I did pull that. I like to use different size beads. So I like to add some, you know, smaller and some bigger beads in there. So I have my beads and then I also have some different charms. These came from Amazon. Um, I've got these charms and these ornaments that you could turn into charms and some jump rings. So Gather your supplies and let's get started. So I'm going to set my beads and stuff aside first. And I think I'm going to go ahead with the silver. And I'm just going to get myself out about the size that I need plus my curve. And I want a little extra. So I think that's good. It's a pretty good length. So let's give that a trim. And if you aren't very good at making the loops, you can use one of these loop tools, which I picked this one up on Amazon. Um, again, I'll have everything I can linked below for you guys. So this lets you create that loop or you can create your loop with your tools, which I'm going to attempt to do today. So I'm going to attempt to create my loop. And I added a little extra. And I'm gonna try to wrap that around. I'm not very good at wrapping that around right now and you could definitely leave more and have more of a wrap if you wanted to but I'm just going to try to do a little wire wrapping carefully to get mine started you almost have it I'm just trying to use my plier to kind of flatten that piece down. So I'm trying to get a hold of it and then kind of use my pliers to squeeze because I don't want that piece to stick up and hurt anyone. I think I've mostly got it. Let's see, little tiny piece still sticking up there. It's not perfect, but I have my beginning loop here. Um, so I'm going to 
use that as my bottom. And then we're gonna go ahead and start beading. So you wanna start off with a smaller bead at the bottom because you are going to be adding some larger beads. Now, I think I'm going to add a couple of pastel beads kind of mixed in with maybe like red and gold, like these matte golds. Um, I think I'll start off with maybe this smaller white here. That'll give me a good base to start with. And then basically after that, you just have fun. Um, pick a few beads, like I've got the fun um, snowflake beads here. Definitely want to add a couple of those. If I can get that bag open and dump those out. And then I have like... A couple of letters I could put joy on here or you could put your swap partners name so let's do that and then let's maybe switch it up and do maybe a red and then I kind of build up the sizes of the beads these are kind of the same size you could put spacers in between here if you have them, which I think I do, which one might be cute. Let's see, I have some here. And that might be a fun way to add in some more like gold in here. It's all about playing around with this and using up those items in your stash. Yeah, um, actually I don't mind that it's a little bit bigger. All right, so I'll keep one of those out and I'll have the little box handy. Um, so let's do maybe, let's add in maybe a pastel. Let's do a snowflake maybe. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, let's do the pastel pink. All right, so we have the snowflake. And then let's maybe do a smaller bead. Then we'll bring in maybe, let's see, bring in a gold. All right, I like that so far. Then got some runaway beads here. Then let's maybe bring in, we could bring in the joy. Maybe we could bring, oh, you know, my joy is going to be like this. So actually, I don't think I want to bring in the joy. So we're going to hold off on that. Let's see, I have these here that are really neat beads. Or I have my red and white, um, I have the red and white striped. Or I could go with... A slightly larger pink or yeah these are see what I have in here for teal or this heart's pretty but I'm not sure the heart's gonna look good at this in this area let's put it on and see okay that's not actually too bad all right so we have our heart and let's do another small bead. Do white. I have the hardest time trying to get these beads on here. All right, so then let's maybe bump up and do a larger size. Kind of wondering, do I want to add that Christmas tree? That Christmas tree is really cute. I'm going to clip this right over this so I don't have my beads going everywhere. Let's add, let's see, should we add a cap to 
like the bottom of this. I don't normally use caps. Okay, let's grab another cap and like put it on the top. It fits perfect on this bead. All right. So then let's do, let's maybe add in, we could add in another gold or something teal. Kind of feel like this is too big. Yeah, definitely too big. So let's look in here and let's grab another teal bead. How about a teal snowflake? All right, do a teal snowflake. Let's add that. All right, teal snowflake. Then. All right, so then we have another gold. Now we need to add in uh, maybe another red. Let's see, do we want to add in one of the striped beads? I think I want to keep it the matte or I have one of these. Let's do... Let's do a matte, slightly smaller red. And then I feel like we can start kind of making our, our arch for the curve of the candy cane. So we want to add in some smaller beads for this, for the candy cane part. So we've got, I uh, added in this cute clear. Let's add in another pink. Here is a pearly pink. Grab that. Let's grab while we're at it. Let's grab one of these like mint colors and grab it in like a pearl pink. Let's grab it in. Don't see if I have any. Oh, yeah, here's a white. Let's grab another white. All right. Let's start working with those. And we also have these clear ones here that are smaller. All right, so let's do a mint. And I don't want to add all of the same sizes. Let's go ahead. I'm going to make my candy cane shape roughly. So I can get an idea of what kind of beads I want because we have like these larger beads. We want to make sure maybe we add um, another snowflake in that and we don't want to add all of the same size. We have, do we have any more snowflakes? Yeah, we have another teal. I was hoping to have another pink. I think I have some snowflakes in in my little bead box. So I might need to grab that. We could also, let's see about adding the heart. I'm not sure about adding a heart into the curve of the candy cane. That doesn't look too bad. Let's do let's do another one of those small teal beads. I 
I have any more in here. Let's do I feel like I need another gold one, but I think I only have oh here we go. Let's add another one of these white ones from the bottom. All right, let's take a look. All right, not looking too bad. Let's maybe add the teal snowflake. No, definitely feel like that needs to be pink. So I definitely need to go grab a pink snowflake. So let me do that real quick. See if I have a pink and I'll be right back. So I had a white, but not a pink. So I think I'm going to move this white bead, put on the white snowflake. And then we can add in maybe this pearl pink. Take a look. All right, and then maybe we'll add on a clear one. I've got this. All right, let's take away the clear. This is a longer shape, so I'm adding in a different shape and size in there which we need to do, and I've got, let's see if this is too big. I've got one of these like rhinestone ones. All right, that doesn't look too bad. And then, whoops, losing beads. We want to maybe get, maybe we should end it with another cap. End it with a cap and then end it with that white bead that we had earlier. Like so. Because I can kind of manipulate if I want a better curve than this. All right, that, I think that looks good. Now we need to repeat and add our little loop here, which is going to be a little bit more difficult since we do have the beads on here but I'm going to go ahead and I'm holding my beads flush backwards so that I can make my little loop and then be able to try to wrap the remainder of the wire to match bottom part all right so I'm at the point where I have that little bit sticking out here I need to get that to lay flush or try to trim it off so I'm going to use my flat nose pliers to kind of manipulate that to lay down flat. And here we have it. We have a super cute candy cane. Let's kind of manipulate this to come around. Love this clear bead here with the Christmas tree. How cute is this? It turned out super cute. All right, so now we just need to add something at the bottom. Now, you could add a bell, you could add a charm, you could add, if you wanted to wire wrap one of these bows, you could do that. That would be cute. Um, that would be cute hanging down here as a bow. Or I've got these snowflake charms that I think would look 
really cute hanging there. So I think that's what I want to do. So I'm going to grab um, a silver jump, jump ring. And I've got these kind of more decorative ones. I'm going to grab one of those. And I think I'm going to go for the snowflake. It's a nice size, but not too big. Look how cute. And then we can also go in and if you want to, we can add a charm or something here. Now you'll want that to be something smaller. Um, you could do another small charm or see what we have. That's a little bit too big. Or again, you could wire wrap a bead and add that on. Um, or let's see, these are a little bit too big for there. Or how about a jingle bell? Let's do, we have silver and gold on here. And Let's do, I think the gold is a good size. We'll do gold because that blue just isn't a good blue. Um, we've got, we have this little red one. Let's see. We have the red or the gold. And I don't have any small silvers. Hmm. I have this one, but it's just too bright of a pink. I'm kind of leaning. I'm actually kind of leaning towards the red one. So let's go with the red. Grab one more jump ring. And let's add our little jingle bell. It'll give it a nice little sound. All right, let's add our little jingle bell here. All right, so I added our little jingle bell and I added our little snowflake. Got a nice little jingle sound to it. And then when this arrives to my partner, she can manipulate this a little more because I know it'll probably be get, it'll get bent up in transit. But thanks a lot, guys, for um, stopping by today and crafting along with me to make this super cute uh, beaded candy cane ornament. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye.